one of the future cars of Dodge. I'm gonna tell you why they ain't selling. Let's have a conversation. Well, as you can see, the Dodge Hornet is very much quite an unusual looking vehicle. It's not the most nice looking vehicle. I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's not nice looking at all. I, I just think they all right. They're not the great, best looking car. They're not the ugliest car. They're not, they just, they just a car. You hear what, did you hear what I said? It's just a car. And that's one of the reasons why it ain't selling. It's nothing special about it. It's nothing special about it. What, do you see anything special about this car? Does anything about this car catch your eye? This car can ride past you and you wouldn't even realize it was, it rolled past you. It's just not nothing special about it. Let's see what, well, let's see, let's look at the price of one of these bad boys. Let's look at the price. And that's gonna tell you a lot too about these bad boys. This one in particular model right here is a Dodge Hornet GT all wheel drive. Base price is 31,000. They want $38,000 for this car. $38,000. Let's see what $38,000 is gonna get you. This is cloth seats. Got cloth seats in this bad boy. Although it's nice. These are nice cloth seats. I ain't gonna sit there and act like, I'm not gonna lie to you. These are some nice cloth seats. The interior is uh, immaculate in this bad boy. The interior is immaculate. It got your nice little bitty screen right there. You're gonna have digital dash. It's hot as hell. And it's super hot in this bad boy. Got digital dash. Got the flat bottom steering wheel. You got sports mode. You got the push to start. Nice little gear shifter. I mean, it definitely look good in here. Nice little cup holders. And it's quite spacious. Before it, it looked like it's a super small car, but it's pretty spacious in here. And this particular one don't even come with a sunroof, but it's still all right. The screen is very nice size screen, but basically like a big old phone right here. There's a long phone or an Android pad or something like that. But it look good. It got a nice little red stitching on here. I'm telling you, these seats, they cloth seats, but some like the material, as you look like the material right here looks like different, like... It's really, I mean, it's really nice, man. The interior on these these Hornets is nice. It's just the, the exterior. It's the problem. It's the exterior. That's the problem. Let's look in the back. Let's see what the back seats look like. I mean, I've done, I've done reviews. I'm just giving y'all a quick overview, you know, quick little overview. And the back, look, look at the back. We get in the back. It's look at how much room you got. I'm not the tallest guy in the world. I'm only 5'7", bro. I'm only 5'7", so what I'm saying is look look, look how much room you got. It's not a, a crampy little bitty car. You can fit four people in here easily. You can put, you can actually fit, fit five people in here. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. Look at that. Got your little cup holders right there. Nice little, ain't, ain't no space in the back. That hatch, ain't no space back there. No space. Matter of fact, I'm gonna see if I can get in that hatch. I'm getting that hatch. It's just these cars. They just look regular degler, man. It's like, it's, they just look regular. Look, there go the hatch right there. I mean, it's got a little bit of space. It's, it's not a lot of, a lot of, hell of a lot of space, but it's enough to fit a couple of bags. I mean, you actually could go, you actually go tailgating in this little bitty car and sit on a bag. You ain't, it ain't gonna be that much room, but you actually could tailgate in this car. I, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. But it, I mean, it's not the interior. Like I said, it's not the interior of this car. That's the problem. It's the exterior. I mean, the back of it looks good. It's got the nice little solid light like all Dodge's got. Hornet GT. I mean, all that looks good. The wheels are horrible. Look at the wheels on this bad boy. Horrible. Horrible and deplorable. Is that a... I think this is... A, is this a hybrid? Let me see if this is a hybrid. No, this ain't a hybrid. This is just regular gas on this bad boy. So they want 30... What? 1,000 for this one? Damn, this was a... This is... Here's another one. A Dodge Hornet GT black top all wheel drive edition $42,000 who who in the who in the hell is paying $42,000 for a darn hornet let's look inside it better be crazy inside it better be immaculate inside okay he's got some dark gray leather with the white stitching got the two hash marks in there same size screen i mean what do you get you get okay you get a moon roof no, no, ain't really nothing else you getting. I just seen a moonroof and some leather seats, man. Same exact motor. Two point, it was a two liter I-4 motor. You got lane assist on this bad boy. Oh, I get I get the price. It's the black top. The black top. What a couple, it's a 23L uh, package. So it's $2,000 for the package. The black top package is going to run you $2,000. The technology, the tech pack is going to run you another $2,000. Golly, $42,000 for this one. How much they want for this one again? I think they said 32,000. 
So let's see. 32,000, and that was a black top package. They want 38,000 for this one. Lord damn Jesus. Come on now. 38,000 for a Hornet is un it's ridiculous. Come on now, look at these cars. They just look like a regular old car. Is those Brembo's on this bad boy? See, this one ain't got no Brembo looking wheels. This one got Brembo's on it. Even this one ain't got no Brembo looking wheels on it. So let's see what this one got. What? What? This got some some kind of Dodge Brembo -y looking uh, brake calibers. Black color again. The black don't look good on these cars. 50. $51,000. You got to be, you got to be insane. You got to have doo-doo on your brain. Matter of fact, you got to have a Skittle for a brain. That's right, a Skittle for a brain if you pay $51,000 for a Hornet. That's right, a Skittle. You got a Skittle brain. What is $51,000? What is $51,000 going to get us? Let's look. You're going to get the two the two eight d package, which is $2,200. That's a tech pack. You're going to get the RT black top package, which is $1,500. What the hell? You ain't really getting nothing. What? Is it a hybrid? I think it's a hybrid. Yes, yeah, a hybrid. Okay, that, that, it's gonna be for a hybrid. You get a wheel and tire package as well. Man, fifty-one thousand dollars. We can open this thing up and see what's going on. It's got the same exact leather as the last one we just looked at. What is we doing here, man? Twenty-two miles on it. Where's the? What kind of sound system it's got? It's got Harman Kardon sound system. Harman Kardon sound system. Oh, man. What's the mileage to the gallon? Golly, 77 miles to the... Okay, I see what... Okay, now I can kind of see why it's 51,000. 77, 77 miles to the gallon is crazy. 29 on regular gas, but 79 if you get... 77 if you use the electricity and the gas at the same time. 77 miles to the gallon is crazy good. Okay, we can kind of give them a little bit, but it still ain't worth no $51,000. You got to be crazy. That technology ain't that advanced. We've been had that kind of technology. And this one only gonna give you 24 miles to the gallon. They want 42,000 for this one. They got a red one back here too. Let's go look at this red one. I'm gonna get back a to y'all. Here goes a red one right here. What's this? A, what, 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 what model is this one? Red, ugly. This one's gonna be $38,000. It's gonna be a GT as well. It's locked. It's got cloth seats. They want $38,000 for this bad boy. $38,000 for a Hornet is, is crazy. You can get a used scat pack for that price. A used scat pack and a fully, probably a fully loaded used RT and a uh, pretty loaded scat pack. What's this one? This one look a little different than those. Actually, it looks the same. It's got red Dodge brakes on it, calibers. How much they want for this one? $36,000. It's got the leather with the Alcantara and it's got a heated and ventilated seats. $36,000. Let me tell you why these cars ain't selling, man. They just ugly. They ugly. They look regular. Nothing spectacular. Nothing eye catchy about them. They look regular, man. They look like they just did a fast job. Tried to make a, a crossover SUV look cool. Look like a Dodge Charger. And they failed miserably. They failed miserably. You mean to tell me they got the nerve to act? $51,000 for a car like this, who in their right mind would give them $51,000 for a damn Hornet? I said, those, this car is not worth, this car is barely worth $25,000. $25,000, I can accept that. I can't accept $38,000. $36,000. Come on now. Does this look like a car that's worth that kind of money? Because it's not. There's no way. It's no way. No way. How many Hornets have you seen? Let me ask you an honest question, y'all. Have you seen a Hornet on the road yet? I've seen two. Two Hornets since they came out on the road. So who's buying these cars? I see the same cars on a lot every weekend. I guarantee you when we come back here next weekend, this car will be still on a lot. That car and the rest of the Hornets. You know what? They got another Hornet back here hidden over here. Look, they got another one hidden over here. They got another Hornet over here hidden. Cause don't nobody want to buy these motherfuckers. Don't nobody want to buy these trash. It's garbage. Trash. Garbage. Look at it. They ain't even got the price on this piece of it. Look at this, man. Get out of here. They don't even want to put the price on this bad boy. It's a Dodge Hornet. What is it? It just got to be. I can see the price from here, though. I'm going to tell y'all what it say. $36,000. They want thirty six dollars for this. $36,000 for this Hornet. They failure. These Hornets ain't selling because they ugly, they whack, and they overpriced. 
Ugly whack and overpriced. As you can see, they go to price right there. $36,000. These cars not selling because they're trash. They're garbage. Overpriced garbage. How dare you Dodge ask for 30000 anything for one of these cars? And for the nerve of you to ask for $51,000 for an RT just because it's a hybrid is insanity. That's insanity. Look at this. This What's this, a GT? How much? Let's see how much this GT is. Remember, I said a Hornet for fifty-one thousand dollars. How much is this GT? I think this is a GT, or is it an RT? It's a GT. Let's see how much this GT costs compared to the goddamn Hornet. Forty-four thousand dollars. So you can get this GT, fully loaded GT. You can get a foot. You can get a fully loaded Dodge Challenger GT for forty-four thousand dollars. Look, you get everything here: screen, the uh, flat bottom screen, the uh, I mean, flat bottom steering wheel. Uh, aluminum pedal, metal pedals, sunroof, the uh, technology group on the uh, wheels and tire package. Come on now, for $44,000. And they got the nerve to ask for $36,000 for this piece of crap. Come on now. The reason this dang thing ain't selling is because it's ugly, it's overpriced, and it ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. it just ain't worth it, man. If you buy a Dodge Hornet, you out of your mind. Skittle brain, Eminem brain, Laffy Taffy head squirrel brain having doodoo brain having person would buy one of these and say you got a good value out of it i'm gonna go ahead and slide on up out of here highly disappointed i am highly disappointed in these cars the interior is okay exterior fart garbage doodoo but with that being said man y'all stay safe stay blessed up out there hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and i like to say thank you to all those who support me I'm just now starting to get a little traction on YouTube. I've been at it for years, y'all. Finally getting a little bit of traction. And I definitely appreciate y'all. I appreciate the love y'all showed me. And I appreciate y'all just rocking with your boy, man. Because you definitely ain't got to, you ain't got to kick it with me. You ain't got to walk this park, these parking these car lots with me, but you do. But with that being said, man, y'all stay blessed up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's free to like. It's free to comment. It's free to subscribe. It's free to just kick it with your boy. It's free to thumbs down. But with that being said, I'm going to slide on about here. I'm going to get in my TRX and get on about here, man. I'm going to get on about here at the scene. After me seeing that trash $51,000 Dodge Hornet. I'm gone, man. Y'all stay blessed up. Peace.